Well, I felt that feeling today, guys. I lost a big fish, and you guys will see it in the video. But jokes aside, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment, go wild with our channel, guys. This is the start of the video. We fished from 5 a.m. until half past 12, and then again from half past two all the way now until half past seven. Wasn't the most productive day, but we still had a blast with all the lads, and we'll check in with you guys as soon as you enjoy the rest of the video. Cheers. What is happening, fishers? So we're shooting through for a quick session this morning. We've got some of the lads joining us. The west wind blew in quite nicely yesterday. We're hoping that the water cleaned up so we can go and target ourselves a young cracker this morning. Got up nice and early. I think I woke the dogs up. So I better feed them, take them for a quick walk, and then we're gonna get straight into this video. I know Dean's on his way down here. And then we're going to see what the day holds, but hopefully it's a good one and hopefully we get on to some fish for you guys. So we'll check in with you all later. Good morning fishers and fisheroos. It is a beautiful morning on the east coast. We've taken a one kilometer stroll up the beach. We've left home just before five, just after five now. It is super warm out. I've dressed like a polar bear. I didn't need to. We've had some oros. Throats are feeling much, much better now. We're going to get one or two fresh baits in the water. Bulmoria, thanks for the nice baits, guys. And let's see what we can target. Maybe a panfish or two until the sun gets a bit higher. And we can actually get onto the rocks. The tide is extremely high this morning. We're just coming off spring tides. So we need to get out a little bit further to target the silver later. Mother Nature's super stoked. The birds are chirping. Animals are happy. Hope the fish are happy and we get onto some for you guys. Cheers. Well, that did not take long at all. Andrew's first, very first throw, I just threw in and turned and Andrew's reel was uh, spinning, guys. A bit difficult for me to get uh, much closer than I am now. But Andrew's onto something. I'm gonna guess it at uh, Sweetie or something like that, but definitely give it horns. Trying to make my way through a maze here. The water's still a bit of colour, so it's not easy to see where your footing is. Use the wobbliness, I'm jumping across some gullies. What do you think you got there, Andrew? Oh. Oh. And there it pops, guys. That is a cracker, guys. I'm very unfortunate. Oh, that is a cracker. It snapped me up on these rocks here. Um, I felt it go over the bricks now. But that was a big fish, guys. Probably a 10 kilo plus. Um, snapped me up on the bricks. Such a pity, boys. Get him the next time. Bustle the leopard shot. 
<laughs> Looks like it's pregnant, eh? Yeah. yeah. It's fat. Oh, guys, a little leopard shark had me in the bricks there for a long time. Uh, famous squid head, guys. First cast on that, uh, what I'm assuming was a cracker earlier. Um, but as uh, you guys know, squid head doing the trick as always, guys. Get this cool guy back and uh, go for the big fish now. Morning, chaps. How are you guys doing? We're out here today, Sunday morning. We had a nice little fishing on Friday, as you guys would have seen on YouTube. And we got a nice pull out here earlier. Me and Kyle just got here now, so we're gonna see what's happening and move over to get some souls later. Check you guys later, cheers. Let's go. Back on Sunday, we see we're gonna come back on Sunday. It's a little bit nippy out here, but we're giving it a bash. Hopefully get something big again. We'll give you guys some awesome footage. See you guys a little later. <laughs> Andrew's pajama shark. Andrew's How's that? pajama shark. They seem to love Andrew very much here <laughs> in this section of the beach. But um, yes, he's strong. Check him out here. He doesn't want to open up for us. But yeah, it's a decent size. Gave Andrew a little bit of a go. Thought maybe he had a little bit of an edible on there. But um, it's a pull nonetheless. We'll get him out, get him in safe, and uh, try again. Just boys. Cool fish shows. So all the lads are now here. Currently at Dead Man's Gully. Water looks uh, good. It's not as clean as we were expecting. We watched the clean water move in yesterday. Uh, probably still about 100 meters out. So I think when low tide is uh, at full low, we'll be able to get to that clean water, targeting some silvers. Yeah, it's a pity, man, uh, that I lost. Uh, definitely a cracker. Could have been a nice big black or big silver. I estimate probably 10 kilos plus. Uh, that size definitely give you horns like that one did. Um, yeah, it's just a pity, you know, you, you snap off sometimes and that's what happens. But uh, yeah, it's good to have all the boys back. Uh, no wind down here. And I think we've got low at about half past 10 today. So for now, we're just going to hit Dead Man's Gully and then we'll move over to the chair a little bit later. Okay, so Andrew, I play this game. It's called the game of life. If you ask me a question and I say, and I answer him using the word man, I aim 10 push ups on the spot, no matter where you are. At your wedding, at your funeral, inside McDonald's, inside a restaurant, inside movies, inside a dance club, you owe the guy 10 push ups. Same thing applies to if I ask him a question, he says the word mine, 10 push ups. He just asked me uh, something and I said the word mine, so I owe him 10 push ups. Yeah, goes just 10 push ups. And that's it guys, we've been playing the game for six years. I've got him once. He's got me about a thousand times. But anyway, it's good fun. Cheers. How's it going guys? Uh, Andrew, a little uh, back to back uni going, yeah? Fumbling in front of the camera, making me nervous, I guess. Come on, this one's playing havoc here. Grab yourself a pair of these guys, brilliant braces. I think they're like 30 bucks. Don't know who makes them, but whoever makes them, well done. Probably the best uh, braces I've used. Others normally last about uh, two cuts and have to throw them away. Okay, so Andrew's leader line's changed. Take over, we're going to have a little, a little walk this side. Shared season is closed. Uh, I didn't manage to hook one, we popped him in the pool here. We're going to go put him back. Camera wasn't set up, so where is he? Oh, there he is. It's still quite lively. There we go, guys. Fresh little shed. Please remember, shed season did close 1st October. So he has to go back. I would have liked to keep him for the smoke box, but we'll get some in the new year again. Sorry, fish. Oh, he made my life easy for me.
Das war der Basten so. What is <laughs> happening, fishers? So, we are down for our second session now because I said to Dean, you know what? After losing that, what I'm assuming to be quite a big cracker earlier. 100% cracker. I can't end the weekend like that. So we're heading down for another session. It's funny how you uh, overanalyze a fight. And when I look back and think back to what I could have done differently, I definitely could have uh, left my drag a little bit looser, saying to Dean, I tightened up a couple times during the fight, but purely because I didn't want to get reefed by, by the fish. And in Dead Man's Gully, where we were fishing, there are a lot of rocks that you need to try and navigate. I've actually never landed a big fish in there before, and I know there's some big ugly things in there. But anyway, we're shooting down to Boulder Bay now. I'm gonna go and see what's happening. We got high tide at just before 5 p.m. So there's enough water for us to fish um, and we're gonna see what we get onto guys uh, for now i'm just gonna say cheers and hand over to dean what's happening guys so i've just got back from my niece's birthday party uh, family duty calls so we're off for round two hopefully i can catch something uh, that doesn't have to go back in the sea looking for a little fish to eat the only fish i got today had to be returned the shad so we got a, one or two fish heads from some fish we caught the other day. So I'm going to put a little shark bait out. See if we can actually hook onto one of those monsters that we hooked into the other day that side. And probably just uh, sift around for another bluefish or two. I'm looking for something for supper. So let's see what happens. Hopefully Andrew uh, pulls out whatever took him this morning. That exact same one. It'll be great if it was that one. I might even still have a hook in his mouth. Yes, I want that one. I actually want my BKK hook back. Yeah, those are nice hooks to have back. Yeah. Anyway, guys, on a serious note, off to Boulder Bay, the sea looks like it has cleaned up a bit and he's, I don't know why I've got such, so much warm stuff on, but uh, it is shoo -shoo, it is hot. So we'll be there the and then shoot home and watch the, already at the coolest spring bikes play later. So we'll support them, I even fish with their, their jersey on. Support them anyway guys, we'll check you all later. Cheers. Oh yeah, and then I just wanted to mention uh, on another side note, that I forgot what I wanted to say. Flip, man, what did I want to say? I don't know. I didn't want to say something, my dad. It couldn't have been important. No, it was important. But now it's not important anymore. Oh, that's fine. But it's fine, guys. We're going to go catch some fish. We're going to go see what's happening down there. And we'll check in with you guys later. Cheers. So I remember what I wanted to say, right? Um, this morning, I got absolutely smashed, right? On a squid head. Pajama shark came out, squid head. Sha shark came out on a squid head. You know, everyone that I fish with thinks I'm absolutely crazy for fishing with squid head. But the proof is in the pudding there. Um, I think I've made converts of uh, everyone that we fish with. And I'd like to just ask the question to anyone that's watching this. What do you guys do with your squid heads? Do you fish with them or do you throw them away? Because if you throw them away, I would like them. <laughs> I need all of them. I want to catch everything with them. And just to prove that squid head is a deadly bait. So I'm going to use a squid head this afternoon and I'm going to hook into something big again. Well, if they know of a place where you can buy just squid heads. Yes. Please leave a comment below. Yes. He wants them. Yes, I'm actually going to get sponsored by someone that sells just squid heads because I fish with them that, that often. Yes, do they sell them? Surely, the squid heads are us, that's what they're called. Surely. I'm going to actually... It's got to be a place. We'll there has to be a okay. Yeah, squid heads are us. If you're not on Google, get on Google. Okay guys, checking with you just now. What's up guys? Uh, first strike, tiny little black tail, or like a medium sized one. Scratching around here, trying for a bluefish or whatever, biting. While my other rod's big for something bigger. Anyway, we're going to keep this one. We're going to measure him to make sure he's size. Because uh, I'm going to put him out for a live bait later. See if something eats him. I'm just going to measure him to make sure he's size. He doesn't have size though. If he's big enough, we're going to put him out for a live bait. Cheers. How's it, guys? Just got a little black stem ross here. Just on an a, um, octopus leg. Circle hook. So we're going to put him back into the ocean and let him live for another day. 
Cheers. And we got Dean onto something. Something small. Fishing with pink prawn. Little guy. Little guy. Quick little young blue uh, Yet for the last hour the winds just swung from southwest to probably a south going towards east and instantaneous like three minutes after that sorry guy three minutes after that wind changed direction obviously the barometer is gonna drop slightly now fish on the bites again happy days Dean getting in uh, striking position if you ever see him like this you just know that he's prepping for a fish we'll see maybe something takes him down <laughs> there we have Andrew on. Been very, very patient, guys. It's like a pajama shock of death. Yeah, and you seem to uh, be doing well with the uh, pajama sharks lately. This is a proper, proper boiki or gilki, we don't know yet. I must admit, I, I think I'm the self proclaimed king of pajama sharks. <laughs> self proclaimed. Uh, it's a boy, I think. Yeah, it's a boy. Let's see from underneath. Uh, fishing on squid, changed it up. Like Dean said earlier, conditions seem to have changed now that the wind direction's changed a little bit. And the sun's also set a little bit over the water, so it's got a little bit darker for the fish they can hunt a bit more. So we get this guy back in the water and hopefully we can target something else. There we have Andrew on once again. Another pajama shark. Something different and a checkered packet. Self-proclaimed. Right. Dave Russ. This is this is actually the wife of the other one we caught. A little female. Um, plus I've got a free packet cleaning the ocean at the same time. You know what guys, that's what we do, clean oceans, catch fish. Let's get this little girl back. one guys Jonathan Yes Well the sea helped me out there and decided to put the shark on top of the rock for me
we go guys, uh, another pajama shark. It's definitely a bananas and pajamas day. Let's get this uh, little girl back. Cheers. And there we go, Luke was very patient and he's uh, onto a, looks like a pajama. Bananas in pajamas. Okay guys, just a decent uh, decent uh, pajama shark here. Didn't get much of a fight, but they seem to be around. So let's pop him back in the water and uh, let him swim out. Cheers. Sharks come out. It'd be nice to see uh, Dean's Evo scream a little bit. So, yeah, we're gonna see what happens, guys. Let's hopefully uh, get something else as well. We hope, we truly hope. Here we go guys, uh, flapping shark, little leopard uh, cat shark, cute little guys, super rough skin, uh, do yourself a favour sometime when you catch one, but go gently, nice and smooth like leather, like needles, absolutely crazy, okay, pop it back, evening fisher and fisheroo, so that uh, brings an end to our night's fishing, I'm going to go get home, get showered, have some food and then obviously get on to the rugby just now. Not the best day out, I uh, don't know if the barometer was uh, still up down, I'm still trying to work that one out. Fish seem to have a bit of a locked jaw today. Better action this morning, this evening mostly vermin came out. One little bluefish, one little blacktail, the rest are assorted cat shark species. Other than that guys, it's all good. Pretty much the pest control specialist for this evening, so if you need some uh, pest control removed we'll come catch them for you with our rods there. anyway guys quick shout out to uh, fish sa make life easy for us nice little neat package with my drop shot rod and reel keeps my reel free of scratches and my rod nice and easy to carry that's me on the rocks nice and easy and off i go so thanks dean once again for the goodies really appreciate it we'll see you guys soon later in the week we're going to check the conditions out and see what's happening and we'll be on I'm sure Wednesday looks good for us until then cheers